Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, I'm gonna take you on an overview of how we install our Hawk flatbed four-wheel camper onto our Norworld flatbed tray. And along the way, I'm gonna be sharing a few tips and tricks that we've learned to help make your four-wheel camping experience even better. Especially if you're the type of person like me who likes to take their camper off when they're not really using it so you can use your truck as a truck. And stay till the end because we have a special modification that we've made in our camper that'll work wonders for you. And it's even gonna work for you rooftop tank guys. Let's go. One of the first things that you're gonna notice that's a little bit different about our setup than the setup that comes straight from the factory are gonna be our camper jacks. We purchased the mechanical to electrical conversion for our jacks and that's really gonna provide us a lot more safety and stability when we're raising the camper up and down. So first things first, we're gonna get that hooked up so we can lift the camper enough to fit the truck underneath it. So what we've done here is we've really tried to stream. Okay. Here we have the main hub or the brain for the electric camper jack conversion. And what we've really done is we've streamlined this operation to where we can quickly connect and disconnect it so it doesn't have to live on the camper, which I don't know if I really prefer or not, but we do have the parts on order just in case we do wanna drill into the side of our camper and install these permanently. These are the quick connect disconnects that we manufactured ourselves through your 60 amp breaker, through your hub, which goes out to the jacks themselves. Hey guys, and please excuse the mess. I've been doing some work on the camper over the last few days, so it's a little bit messy. It's really easy to run these out to the right legs because everything's labeled right here on the control box itself. So I'm gonna go ahead and start running these out to the legs. It's really as simple as taking this SAE connector and plugging it in the correct way. As you can see, if we did have these mounted into the camper themselves, it would be a little bit more streamlined process, but I really don't mind hooking this thing up because it's realistically 400% times faster than the old way that we used to do it. And that's it for the back end. Let's move over to the front. All right, so we're all wired up, except for the wiring in the camper. And I'm gonna go ahead and put the GoPro on my head now so you guys can get a bird's eye perspective of exactly what we're doing. So there's one more upgrade I wanted to show you because I have to do it when I'm inside the camper when I'm hooking up the mechanical jack. It's the new grade eight bolt that I got that's replacing this grade five bolt. We get kind of crazy in the truck. And I really prefer the peace of mind that the grade eight is gonna give me over the grade five. The other thing that we did a little bit different with the new bolt is we got a different length. So it used to be framed like this. You have the bolt, one washer, then you have the camper and the tray. And then they had these two plates, these two aluminum plates here. I was starting to stack washers. So instead of this one washer here, I was using like three or four smaller washers. Let me show you. So I was starting to use like three or four of these other washers in place to basically fill up the space because this, this thing was so long that the bolt itself was stopping threading and not completely tightening down to the tray itself to give us less washer stacking and to make it easier because once we get under the truck, you'll see that it's gonna be moderately difficult to hold these three things in one hand while we attempt to put the nut on. Exponentially easier, time saver, hack, let's go. So you can see the hole down there. And that's where we're gonna put the bolt. Mike Flynn for the win. And time for the magic. As you guys can see, the process is a little bit sketchy, especially when you have to go as high as to reach the height of the bed of our tray. That should be close. Let's see what, let's see what we got. And the last step we really need to take with the truck is putting the mat down on the tray itself.
good. 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 And good. All right, let's back the truck up into this boy. Let's see where we're at. Perfect. Perfect. Alright guys, so from this point forward, it's really about tiny little changes. By doing a little bit of shimming of the legs, I'm able to really fine tune exactly where I have the camper sitting and getting the bolts through the bed themselves. One. Ouch. Dang, I keep hitting this dang old thing on my dang old head, man. Doesn't feel dang old great either, tell you what. So we got this one in. Oh, no bolt. You see there's no bolt coming through that one. So we're gonna have to wiggle this one a little bit. Sometimes they'll fall through, sometimes they won't. Uh, we might need to lift that one up a fuzz, but we can start by plate washer for the rear. Just so we don't lose this one. All right, we're on there. Booyah. We can get on there too. So we got this. Boops. Got it. Cool, cool. Hey, that one's through. Sweet. Nice, that's a win right there. Getting that one in. Man, this is just like clicking. You know, it's a little bit of time added because I'm trying to film and document what we're doing. But overall, it's actually working out. We're still at about three times as fast as it would take if we were trying to lower the jacks manually and get this thing lined up. But we're still, we're still missing it just by the most minute amount. Let's see if we can pull it back. I might need to go back in the camper and actually push the bolt down so it wants to drop through once we move it. But we'll just try right here right now. See if the bolt wants to just move for us when I, when I yank on this leg. Nice. Nice. Ah, all right guys, so we got all the bolts through the tray and now it's time to tighten everything down. And this is where I use a 9 16 wrench 
and a 9 16 on my impact wrench. So let's just run through this process real quick and we'll be wrapped up. Boom, that's it. Oh yeah, almost there, baby. So this last one here, I actually have to go inside the camper, place my wrench and cross my fingers and come back out here and hope for the best. It's really not that difficult, but if I had a second hand, oh, it'd be simple. Come on, you're coming with me. We're gonna go in the camper and place the wrench. The last thing that we have to do are take the camper jacks off and then put the rear storage cross member back on and we'll be back in business. This camera on my head makes it ridiculous to try to get anything done around here. All right guys, so that really wraps up the exterior and putting the camper onto the flatbed itself. But let's get to the inside because I really want to show you that last little secret that I have for you that's going to make a world of difference in your camping experience no matter what you have. The last piece that I'm really talking about here is going to be this new mattress I got. Amazingly comfortable. I cannot believe what's going on here. Let me just show you what we got, but first I got to move these lights out of the way. I've got me maximum comfort. I've got my two inch film top on top of this. Hey mate, it's the Deluxe Legend. So go ahead and check the links down below because I'm going to give you links to all this great stuff so you can make your four wheel camper just as comfy as mine. Thank you for joining us today. I'm Austin with Wolfpack Outdoors. Howl at you later. <laughs>